What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen uh, Ripple is being sued by the SEC, and for that reason, I'm going to tell you why I sold my XRP this morning. I think for this one, we're going to need a drink. I got a little Colonel E.H. Taylor small batch here. Should be enough to get me through the rest of the time. <laughs> hey, welcome back, YouTube. Cheers, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, I can't believe I still have to say this, but obviously, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only. These are just the musings of me um, and anybody that feels like watching it. You know, take what you want, always do your own research. Um, but feel free to hit me up on Twitter uh, or Instagram if you have any questions. So let's get into it. Um, I was not clickbaiting you. I actually did sell some XRP this morning. I didn't sell all of it. The vast majority of it is still on a ledger. Um, but I did sell some at 33 cents this morning. I only did it because Crypto Wizard said that there's a chance it's going to go down to like 26 to 28 cents. And so by selling that, I set a buy order on Coinbase Pro. There's a link in the description below. If you don't have Coinbase, I recommend it. It's easy. Um, so I set a buy order at 28 cents. So by doing that, I was actually able to increase my Coinbase XRP holdings by about 20%. So pretty happy with that. I wish I would have sold a 70 like the crypto wizard told me to, but I didn't. I was hoping it was going to hit the next resistance zone of about a dollar to a dollar five before I sold hesitated my bad um, but you know we live and we learn I still was able to increase it by 20% where if I would have sold I probably would have increased my XRP holdings on there by like 150 to 200% so <laughs> quite a big difference but let's get into the XRP SEC lawsuit that is pending if you haven't heard um, SEC is suing Ripple over an alleged XRP being an alleged security, saying that they raised about a $1.3 billion um, falsely selling XRP as a security. So I'm going to go into like uh, probably one of the more popular um, SEC lawsuits that's happened recently, which would be uh, Tesla and Elon Musk. So if you recall, I believe uh, Tesla's stock plummeted when this SEC lawsuit was announced. Um, Elon Musk had to pay $40 million in penalties, but if you've also been paying attention, the stock price of Tesla is astronomically higher than it was in September of 2018. I didn't do the numbers, I'm not going to look right now, but it, w it was irrelevant to the long-term uh, viability of Tesla and their stock price. No issues. So as we get into this, I'm going to drop the link for this here. Um, they actually have the whole filing down here you can read if you want to. I'm not going to take the time to read it right now because it looks like this isn't actually going to get figured out until 2022. Uh, but here's like a quick uh, rundown of what's going on with this lawsuit. So the SEC's filed a lawsuit against Ripple, the CEO Brad Garlinghouse, and co-founder Chris Larson for conducting what the regulator alleged to be a $1.3 billion unregistered security sale. Multiple countries have already stated that XRP is not a security. Why this is popping up now, I don't understand. Yes, Ripple owns a lot of XRP. If Ripple goes away, XRP still exists. It's not like they're a business, like it's not Tesla, or if Tesla just disappears and like shuts down, the stock goes to zero. If Ripple shuts down, XRP would plummet, most likely, but it's not going anywhere. It still exists. Other companies can still use it. MoneyGram can still use XRP if Ripple goes away. There's nothing stopping companies from using this. Excuse me, I'll have a sip of this. I think it's blatantly obvious, obvious that XRP is not a security. What I kind of think is happening is that this is a way to finally put this whole thing to bed about whether or not XRP is a security. So I saw somewhere that 
Brad Garlinghouse, just like Elon Musk had, he personally paid a fine of $40 million. Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, had the opportunity to personally pay a fine to make this go away. He decided not to. He's going to take it to court, which, in my opinion, is because he knows it's not a security, and it will finally end this entire debate about whether or not XRP is a security. Just look at all of these news articles, like people just hating SEC's attack on crypto, what the SEC charging, Ripple's token has fallen, well that's like 50% now. Everyone's got these gloom and doom stories, Bloomberg, of course, shittiest Ripple news on the planet. Um, so it's just, I mean, I think this kind of thing just has to happen. The U.S. needs to have these kinds of lawsuits to clear up what crypto is and what crypto is in the U.S., if we don't have these kind of lawsuits or rulings, it's going to be, there's always going to be someone, you know, it's just all conjecture. So personally, I, I mean, I'm going to keep buying this. Every time XRP dips, I'm going to buy more. I haven't bought any since it was at, what did it hit? Like 17 cents earlier this year. That was the last time I bought some, um, pretty much. Yeah. And then I've been doing like some crypto, like for holdals. And then uh, following the crypto wizard, I did a couple of buys and sells, just seeing what I could turn that money into, which I've doubled. Um, it's not a lot of money; it's like a couple grand. But um, I think for long term viability with XRP and finally get these numbers that we all want, I think this lawsuit just needs to happen. So hopefully you didn't sell. Hopefully you like had those strong hold of hands. Um, Personally, I will be continuing to buy. I'm really not concerned about it, and I have more money than I would care to admit into, into crypto instead of actual you know, investments, but to me, the risk versus reward on XRP is amazing, so I'm in it for the long haul, whatever happens, like ride or die. So you can see um, Crypto Wizard. I like to talk about Crypto Wizard. They're really smart with their lines. Um, they're kind of what I follow. To, they, they're the only thing I follow with my Coinbase trades. So those are like kind of swing trades, no day trading, anything like that. But if you're interested in them, they are actually having a sale right now with a membership. It's only $300. I think I paid $550 and easily made my money back uh, with, with some trades with them. So you can see, I'm trying to find the actual tweet. He told everybody to sell it's 70 cents and I honestly can attest to the fact that he did do that <laughs> um, they're really smart people I don't want to tell you so give me a follow um, even if you don't join their discord or their group uh, it's definitely worth a follow so you can see he here bought 449,640.3 XRP this morning for 27.8 and on Twitter mentioned that that is just the first of many buys he has as he's not expecting XRP to really recover and to see big gains until the middle of 21. So we're back in the accumulation zone, which we should all be very comfortable with because we've been there for the last two and a half years, almost three years. Holy shit, it's been three years. Whew, that's a long time. Damn. Anyway. I hope this kind of helped clear some stuff up for you guys. I know I didn't get into like a lot of details, but personally, I am not worried about this really at all. I'm really curious to see how this plays out. But if nothing else, I'm getting some cheap XRP, so I'm pretty happy for the moment. Again, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Everybody stay safe and healthy out there. Uh, and I hope that 2021 is better than this last year. Cheers.